Hello my dear friends, in this video I'm going to discuss how to deal with this permanent uh, error message that pops up on your XD screen. <coughs> Actually uh, some of my viewers uh, have asked how to get rid of this message as it causes unnecessary troubles during, especially during uh, PSE inspections, right? Okay, uh, first of all, uh, I, uh, um, I need to say uh, sorry to my dear viewers because sometimes I'm not able to reply to your messages then and there because it, when, when I am on board because due to non-availability of internet and restrictions, right? Once I'm at home, I will definitely reply then and there and, uh, and uh, I, I, whenever I get the chance, I will try to attend to your uh, comments and try to uh, do more videos as uh, much as possible to the best of my knowledge and abilities right okay my dear friends <coughs> uh, this uh, message is uh, is uh, there on your screen because it's simply because you have expired charts on board or expired uh, chart permits on board right so in uh, say you are at uh, you are at port and uh, then because you are at a port then that means you are uh, you are using the largest available scale on your uh, on your charts but then if it still uh, appears then it's a problem it is still a problem only if it if this message is for one of your wired charts as long as it's, it's not a it's not a part of your wired charts then it's not a problem but we need to avoid uh, uh, avoid extra hassle so we will get uh, we will get rid of this uh, message say you are at uh, at sea and on your sea passage it appears you don't have to worry because if, if it is not a part of your wire charts because you normally keep your wire charts up to date right um, uh, so okay so why I have it and why I haven't removed is because if you know what you're dealing with then you can explain that to that to the PSE officer and uh, make him understand right um, why I'm keeping it just be, is because I don't want to lose my chart chart data say I, I have expired charts on board right no problem and the beauty of it is you might have to say now you are he here this is Europe right next voyage you might get to go to South America so if you have South American charts let's say Magellan Strait you can simply plan out your passage and give the distances to your master and the chief engineer for bulk calculations and also to your charterers to the to the correct to the to the best uh, correct distance right to the best accuracy the so once you have uh, once you have uh, chart permits and chart uh, chart uh, all have have got your all charts up, up, up updated then it's a matter of doing a background check on your route to see whether it passes through any obstructions or restricted areas but mostly the, the um, this uh, this chart data doesn't change so it it will be it will be uh, it will remain the same distance what you plan out on your expired charts right right so that is that so that is why I'm keeping it on board because I, I want to uh, because uh, bulk carriers you never know where you will happen to go so as long as as much uh, chart data is there then you can uh, you can uh, give uh, you can plan out your passage easily right the uh, the disadvantage of keeping all the charts on the system is it could um, it could uh, slow down your egg disease especially in uh, south china sea where there is a lot of chart data it takes even uh, few seconds to change the scale on this type of egg dish, right okay that is that about a brief brief, dis, brief description about uh, uh, why I'm keeping and how to deal right okay uh, so, and also okay so say uh, now here in this area it's, it's it's a large scale I'm using Anchorage you can see all this data but say if it is still uh, appearing even if it is not a part of your voyage charts you don't have to worry why it happens is because this particular expired chart this chart type touches the border touches the border of one of my wired charts that is why it uh, it uh, triggers to pop up this message you can um, you can uh, get rid of it simply by 
say I will I will keep the screen here simply by changing the scale let's move on to another large scale possible then message changed right now there is no message overlapping charts this is not a problem I have done a separate video on uh, how to deal with uh, this overlapping charts please refer to that now that I have mentioned it here I will see I will show you what it is when you have overlapping charts you will see on your exit screen highlight on and blah. when you select right side of the screen it will highlight what areas uh, what area is overlapped by this the next agency and then when you click select you will lose all your chart data and message will change to visible chart from agency next agency right uh, Italy right okay please refer to my uh, that video I have explained much in detail right okay that is that so now you got rid of your um, chart by simply uh, changing scale say uh, uh, when uh, when uh, during say now uh, there is a PSC inspection and he wants to uh, move to a, a small smaller scale and this message appears and then you have to explain why so if you know what you're dealing with you can explain to him so this is not a part of my voyage chart and but it, it is not uh, pertaining to this area but it touches one of my voyage chart tiles so that is why it appears say still is in stupid countries they will keep on digging and trying to try to uh, they will keep on trying to find some mistakes so in that case we don't want to go through that hassle we will we will simply uh, we will simply get rid of this chart uh, get rid of this message right okay first before uh, before changing before uh, before removing your permits original initial message will be the permit for sale particular sale has expired therefore not should not be used for navigation blah, 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 blah. right now I have uh, removed uh, permits because um, I haven't done it manually because uh, my chart uh, supplier is Novaco uh, Novaco they every week uh, with the, together with the weekly updates they send a permit file to install to the system which will delete uh, expired chart permits from the system so I don't have to do it manually right even if you have to do it manually I have done a separate video on that also you can uh, refer to that but I will quickly show you press menu on your keypad then go to chart menu go to chart permits then select the particular chart you want to delete and click remove and it will it will remove it will be removed from the system say without re before removing your message will be permit for sale so and so has expired once you remove it will change to permit for sale so and so has been removed right now you have it now what you need to do is you need to uh, take out this chart you need to remove this chart from the system now we will remove the, this from the system and we will see whether anything happens to this area as lo so this is not a part of your wire charts as I explained to you it touches this uh, it touches uh, the, the border of one of my wire charts and that is why it, it is it uh, it appear it is appearing so how to remove uh, this chart and how to get rid of how to remove uh, charts also I have done a video but I will show you here press menu on your keypad go to chart menu select remove charts okay then select the country code first HR HR and then the first digit one select from the left side of it and select so okay now in this example there is only one right say if you have multiple example I'm telling uh, say uh, in this guy in this case you need to see what chart you are going to delete right okay the chart menu char remove charts mm, hr right so from this side from the left side of sub dears you say uh, you select the first digit number one and select whatever the there will be few charts uh, under starting from uh, starting with number one right now here in this case only only one so select what chart you are you want to delete select it uh, on the on the right side of the screen and remove chart and see I hope there will not be another um, uh, message hmm. 
all this should oh. see nothing happened to your chart data what ah, okay so permit for sale blah, 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 blah. so right the same story huh? say uh, you uh, you only had this particular chart which was which was uh, deleted in the in the uh, just few seconds ago then it will uh, your message will not appear now that this area is covered by this uh, it this chart also so that is why uh, it is uh, it is oh maybe we can remove uh, this one also and see even uh, nothing happens no problem huh? so this is how you can uh, because i still have not installed uh, charts to this area because i still have about a month to come to copper slovenia right remove charts uh, it right so select it that is italy and the first digit is one this is these are small scale charts right three four zero so maybe the next one will be three five zero i don't know we'll, we'll remove chart and see okay i hope there will be all ah, right luckily okay so you still have your chart data and no problem nothing happened to you so you can uh, now when you change your scales so there will be no error error messages popping up right this overlapping charts you know how what to explain to your psc office so you are safe and this is how now there will be no uh, error message error message is only out of date should not be used for navigation but now you are safe right so that way that is the way to get rid of this uh, uh, error message permanent error message not to worry if it is not a part of your voyage charts you can still be on the safe side but you should know how to explain and guys thank you for watching i hope this is helpful mm, uh, please uh, share with your friends subscribe and comment i will try to do more and more videos uh, as i can to the best of my knowledge and let us share the knowledge thank you for watching keep subscribing keep watching